What do you think of uh, blasphemy laws? This is a very interesting question. I'm glad you asked me. I think they're deeply unhelpful. Uh, and I, uh, I... I mean, that's putting it lightly. It <laughs> is mean, putting it lightly. There are people in jail because somebody accused them yes. of being yes, I know. disrespectful of Islam's prophet. Well, I think we have an issue with the whole uh, concept of respect. Uh, for example, um, I, I, I just assume uh, um, artificial intelligence decides one day I'm going to poke fun at the Muslims, uh, uh, say in 50 years' time. And uh, artificial intelligence comes along and says, I'm going to put out on every single person's mobile phone a, com uh, a, a little cartoon of the prophet making fun of him. Who do you blame there? Who do you attack? Who do you shout at? These things are no longer, I mean, th this can be done on such a scale that the world can come to a halt. Uh, the this is theoretical. I mean, can't we just, uh, I mean, can you say flat out that all blasphemy law should be abolished and that it is contrary to human values? What I can say is that it has a negative effect on the way in which we will, will take our uh, lives forward. If, as in some countries, they've now proposed that not only should the prophet be untouchable, but his wider group of followers, anything related to, well, we'll never have a serious discussion about Islam and the way in which we are. So the blasphemy laws empower uh, the very, very strict traditionalist, uh, and it's, it's handing over power to people that we don't necessarily uh, want to hand over power.